hey, it's me, T, from the Pattersons, taking a train to Tibet. I just came in. I've been walking all day. Mm. Walking all day. Can I do this thing? Oh, I got another one. Don't worry about it. This is that water. But I did go shopping anyway. Let me see what I got. Ah! I should carry this big. I shouldn't be carrying big bags like this. My thing. Oh, hey. I went to Strand because I was looking for, I took that finished that, that Frank Yerby book and I was actually looking to see if I can get, because the copy I had was like full on the port. I got it for 10 man and saw that. And so I figured, yeah, I tried to find the copy because I really liked the book. Oh, wait, hey. I couldn't get anything for Strand. What I did get is buttons. But actually, see, I got a, my initials in there, but they didn't have a, um, they didn't have a, what's the name, uh, they didn't have a J for my middle initial. Anyway, but I got a, I got a, look, look what I got. So let me start all over again. Hey, it's me, T, from the Pattersons, taking the train to Tibet. Okay. But, um, so that was downtown. What else I got out, then I came back uptown. This is my refried beans that I got from other places. Gotta eat that. What's this thing? Oh, yeah, because I went to the... I went to the VA earlier today. I had to take some blood tests because I'll see the doctor next week. Brother called me up. I guess he, my brother watched these things, I guess. But he wished me whatever, whatever. I said, no, that's next week. Anyway, so when you go to the doctor, they're going to take, anyway, take the blood test today. So, can look at so I went and got my regular thing I get from there because I really like it, the baked salmon. So I'll have that later. Maybe I'll pimp it up with something else. So that's for later. Got some extra pepper. I like black pepper. You know, black pepper is probably in West Africa. They're really into black pepper in West Africa. So I figure that's one of my lineage, West Africa. So that's why I like black pepper so much. Not so much salt. I don't know if you like salt. Chopsticks. So I can eat my my baked salmon. And uh, put the cabbage and the uh, whatever. What else I get? Oh, then I came up town. When I got off the train, because I took the train up. Well, I wasn't walking all the way from like, you know, actually I went strands on like, like down 14th, down Union Square area, up to 124th Street. And I wasn't doing that today because, you know, okay, what else did I get? Oh, so Modell's going out of sale, going out of sale, going out of business. So they have these sales. This job, I don't think it's good. But anyway, so I got, I shouldn't have, but I got these. What's this here? I got these slippers. Well, here, even though they have um, they have carpet, I'm not carpet. They have throw rugs here, but um, but they have floor. I have my my feet are sort of weirdly sensitive. You're like I don't like uh, with with surfaces like uh, m must say marble, but like wood, whatever bare surfaces, then I can I can sort of feel it through my through my feet. So I got these, but this serves a double purpose because what's going to happen with these when when I visit the Liquid Sound Lounge on Saturday, then. Uh, you know, they take their shoes off too. So, but you know, then but anyway, I'll use these. I, I can leave them there because, like, Steve has his has his little bag with his his, his slippers in it. Now I'm gonna have slippers. I'm gonna, I like to outdo them. You know what I mean? Now I don't say outdo them. Let me explain something to you. See, I'm here in New York, and so what happens in New York? I know a lot of people, and so the people I know they know me for a long time. So you know, I always mess with people. I mean, you know, my inner circle. I can really mess with them. I mess with. See, I, I'm just a natural whatever. You know. Uh, I, whatever I am, a natural, right? And so, with people like 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 with Steve and Reggie, I can say whatever I want. They don't care. They give it back to me. Blah 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 blah. But other places, people don't know me. You know, they can they get all sensitive and da 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 da. It's terrible. So I got those for that. Then I went and posted up right at that where where I stay in Manhattan. Then I I ran out of. Uh, I had the last of the uh, moringa bitters. So I bought a new bottle of moringa bitters from um, from Watkins. I went into Watkins. They were chocolate packed. Whoa! You no, know, because it's a juice place, right? But they have all kinds of you know they help with stuff. And so I went and because I like to support them, you know. Uh, so I went. So bitters is like you know just, I call it the old man stuff, old man tonic. What happens? You're supposed to have it in a flask, you know. 
And then what you do is take it out, you carry a flask in your back pocket or your jacket. You're supposed to, old men are supposed to wear jackets, right? Jacket pockets. Every once in a while, you pick out a flask and a little bitters. I actually have a flask in South Africa. So it has glass. It's made out of glass. I think uh, I think my wife procured it for something. I don't know. I don't know what's happening with that. But I, then I got something that I, it's like, whoa. Um, I've been looking at this for a long time. It's hard to find. Neem toothpaste. Neem. I, feel, uh, I got first introduced to Neem when I was in India. It's a, it's a plant, and it's sort of like, it's just a plant. It's really good. I'll tell you about it some other time. Neem toothpaste, like that. But I did want to talk to you about something. Okay. First of all, in New York, it's kind of interesting because I've been walking, and I just realized, see, in Africa, I can't, where I am in South Africa, I can't walk the way I usually walk. Even though I was in Cape Town, I could yeah, I walked in Cape Town. No, I walked a lot in Cape Town. Instead, but, but it's this, you know, because the terrain, whatever, whatever, when I live in a rural area, I mean, really, we get the hill to go to, no, nah, it's, 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 it's difficult. I can't walk at the pace, at a certain pace, you know, stretching my legs, whatever, have you have to be careful, blah, 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 blah. So it's, it's difficult. But I'm walking here, and I realize something, because um, even then, I sort of hunch over a little bit in, in Africa, but here, now I'm starting to walk up more straighter and, and you know, just that, that military bearing, you know? But I also, um, I was thinking, I finished reading that book, um, uh, the Rebel book, you know, the, the Frank Yerby book, and um, there's this old guy that he wanted to, he had did it wrong, and he wanted to, um, you know, build him a cottage, do stuff for him. And the guy says, no, 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 I want to move the guy someplace else. And the guy says, no, no, I'm, I'm here. And I realized something. Being back in New York, I think what happens in New York, I feel I feel a power. I can't explain it, but I feel I feel like I'm reconnected to a, a grid that I've been in long. I can't explain that, but I feel powerful in New York. I feel more powerful in New York than I feel most places on the planet. And I've been a lot of places on the planet. I can't explain it. Maybe sometime it'll come to me and I'll explain it. But here's the thing. Here's the one to talk to you about. Here's the thing. I have I have this thing about reading between the lines. Now I'm sort of like I'm not. A, I can talk to tech people, you know. What I mean, I can talk. I talk all, all time. I'm like a bridge between a lot of people. I think people understand. I'm, like, you know, I'm, I'm I'm a stage manager, and a stage manager has to be a bridge between a lot of different elements, right? And what I what I realize is that uh, when I look at stuff, I also this book got me out of got me out of the South Bronx. I can read between the lines. So when I look at something, I look, I see what everybody else sees, but then I try to. I, not to twist, but I look at some other angles of it. For instance, they had this whole thing I've been looking for with um, um, with the guy Elon, the, the the South African Elon Elon Musk, the Musk guy. You know, he's just shooting all these rockets up. But see, they talk about his rockets, SpaceX or something like his rockets. But remember, uh, the other guy, the one I don't really like, the Bezos guy. He got rockets going up too, and then somebody else got rockets going up. So the uh, rockets and but with these little satellites. The astronomers are getting uh, a little peeved because these satellites they, they get bright lights too, and they sort of like get in the way of the astronomy. They can't, you know, they start getting in the way, and I don't know. Some it's going to be a mess. But here's the thing: I'm saying, why are people going? To, plus, they want to go to Mars, or whatever have you. I'm going like, wait a second. There's astral belts and stuff like that. Here's my thing: they say they're doing that, they're going to do this and that. I think they're going to mine. When I say mine, remember, gold, for instance, is a scarce commodity. That's what makes it valuable, right? Okay, you got that. So what happens, but this gold, in golden space debris, or asteroids, whatever happened. So if you can go to a Mars or another planet and find gold, then you're golden. You see what I'm saying? Come on now, let's think about it. This ain't no conspiracy theory. I mean, yo, come on now, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so that's one thing I was thinking about. Then the other thing I was thinking, because like, I, like I tell you, all, watch Kaiser report, y'all, y'all, Max Kaiser, Stacy Herbert, Max Kaiser, they on it, right? And it's really interesting because they had uh, Professor Keen on there, Steve Keen. He goes every once in a while. I think it was Keen. One of those. There's, there's a couple of people they put on that's really on it. They're the only people in the world that think like that. Everybody else think like this other thing, and everybody else is wrong. <laughs> that's all I'm telling you. Um, so anyway, so. Uh, um, he was talking about this, this whole whole um, thing with um, the the, the, the uh, what are they COVID nineteen whatever they call it these days the the, the Corona thingy, um, but it seems as though uh, 
it, they, they, these people are more concerned with business stuff like that, and they're not really want to do anything for the peoples. It's like the virus. Hey, let it call the people. They don't care. You know what I mean? So it's going to be like they, they, like they, like they, they, uh, they quantitative easing for the bankers, and they give the bankers a break. Well, they're not going to bail out. You know, regular people, poor people, people like my brother who lives in. in I want to visit him tomorrow in Laguardia. An airport, you know what I mean. The p- people on the street, but they're not gonna. They, they, they wish they would just go ahead and depart <laughs> somehow, right? But everybody else, they're gonna try to. Eh, don't work that way. But anyway, so I'm really, I'm really, I want to say concerned. Um, well, I'm, oh yeah, I'm concerned. But the thing is, um, these folks, man, they they use these things to, to cover whatever else diabolical things they got on their agenda. That's all I'm saying, right? And that's what we have to be aware of. Right? We got to be aware of that. I have this other um, other thing. I want to touch on this too. It's a political thing. Everybody's going with this. Oh, Biden and Biden, and Biden. I'm going like. Let me explain something to you. When Barack Obama came to office and he started doing these, when the first uh, I was aware of it, when he when Van Jones he jettisoned Van Jones from his from his um, his cabinet, whatever it is, it became a special thing. But then. Got got rid of him because he said something about he said something the Republicans protested and then Barack Obama just folded <laughs> like like folded like like a folding chair whatever it is and I was I said well what's going on with this then I it hit me like almost immediately it's like he's pulling a Dinkins he's pulling a Dinkins now what I mean by that when Dinkins became mayor of New York City. A lot of people work for him, but then as soon as he got in, first thing he did was got, he got rid of Sonny Carson, who who, was, who who had Brooklyn locked up. Sonny Carson did a lot of stuff for him in Brooklyn. So he, the, 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 the education, Sonny, just check check out Sonny Carson, and, and and so they got rid of him. He he, he kept uh, somebody from uh, the Stossel guy. He kept from from the from the uh, Koch administration. So right away, wait, he's keeping this guy from another administration to be his co whatever it was. What's going on here? Then what happens, he just left the, the, the people that got him elected, did nothing for them, and kept on trying to, to, to get, get in touch or get in, uh, the, to do bidding for people. I guess, he, I don't even think he wanted to win another election. He just wanted to do the bidding of other people. So his, what I'm trying to say, his constituency or the, his people that got him elected, he just completely turned his back on them. Well, that's what Barack Obama did with the whole thing with the... Um, uh, you know, we, he got that whole coalition going, whatever he had going, and 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 he just got rid of that the, the whole database of them. Just gave it to gave it to the Democratic Party, Democratic DNC, D, Democratic National Committee. Gave them all that information. Just it was terrible, right? So I gave up on Barack Obama long, long, long time ago, and then I won't get into the whole thing. I've been at other places, but here's the thing: now when I look at this Biden thing, everybody knows Biden is a disaster. Now I'm going to say, wait a second. But at the same time, Bernie's not getting no traction. So this is really, really interesting. Then it came to me. Okay, you're going to love this one. You're going to love this one. I'm telling you. You ready for this? They're pulling. I don't want to say they're pulling Obama because whatever. What they, I think what's going to happen. What can happen? What's a possibility? And if it's a possibility, believe me, everybody says, oh, you don't play checkers. You play, you play, um, what do you call that? You, you play chess? Play dominoes. <laughs> okay, forget it. That's an inside joke. Here's the thing. I think they'll go to convention, right? Some stuff will happen, right? I don't know what's going to happen. Something's happening. Even if they don't go to convention, something will happen, right? And They'll, they'll, of course, they'll, they'll, they'll neutralize, get rid of Bernie a long, long, long time ago, right? Or they'll get rid of him. And they'll put Barack Obama up. You say, wait, you can. Yes, you can. Remember what the law is. You cannot, you cannot um, um, uh, stand for president beyond, what, eight years, two terms, right? But then if, if, if you're out for like a term or whatever, I mean, you can then go back again and, be, and run for president or be president. I, I'm sure it says that someplace. Somebody looked that up. Maybe I'm wrong. But if I'm right, if I'm correct, as they say, think about it. Broken convention. Broken convention means like everything is up for grabs. If they say, well, we're going to elect Barack Obama. Now, all his girls are out, out, you know, they're, they're in the world, whatever. They ain't got to do nothing. He's, he's running around just hanging out with rich people. You know what I mean? Bought some house. You know, I don't know Michelle, is, Michelle seems like she's a Clintonite, whatever. So, wow. The neocons are in with their boy. And I really do mean with their boy. 
Barack Obama. Think about it. I'm just saying. <laughs> you don't have to believe me. Me, Big T. That's my thing. T. Don't believe T from the Pattersons taking train to Tibet. Look at your own soul. Look at what... You know, use your own brain. Stop following about these people, especially these white people, especially white pundits, right? They all have the same thing, you know? And then, and, okay, I'm going to stop right there. But, you know, I'm thoroughly into the black agenda, ADOS and all the rest of that stuff. If they don't have a black agenda, the only way they can get around a black agenda is by getting the mask, the beard that they had for for eight years, you know, for, 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 for black people. And that would be Barack Hussein Obama. Mark my words.